computer vision provides you extra set of eyes. You know, so you can put people to look at the scenes and look at the um, crowded areas and determine if there's something suspicious happening or there's some crime or how to manage crowds and so on. As I give an example, if you have a sports, many, many people go there and their people have some, uh, they run into each other, there is, you know, people get blocking, there's no way to get out and so on. So these are the important problems for the civilians, not necessarily defense, to help the technology can help humans to solve this problem better as compared to you put for everything for humans. As I give an example of counting people. Mm -hmm. So you can ask, to give, give a picture to a person, say, well, let's look at every person, count how many people are there, and you can spend a lot of time. But now we have a computer program which will count automatically, and it's very close to what humans can do. The computer vision can also be used for biomedical imaging. The doctors can help, get help from it to look at you know, MRI scans, find tumors, and come up with a bit better uh, treatment. Uh, so there is a no limit of computer vision for the civilian purposes as compared to defense or these other things.